it's Nyla here and in today's video I got a good story time for you. I'm about to tell y'all the story time of when I had fought my sister best friend. Now she her ex best friend. What led up to me fighting the girl was because my nephew he was in some really deep shit at the time, like super duper deep shit. He was facing Jersey numbers. She worked down there at the Milwaukee Police Department. Now we gonna name this girl Geraldine. So Geraldine works down there and she knows my nephew. She would pass little messages to my nephew when she would see him, nobody would know about it. She knew how close I was to my nephew. She knew how close my sister was to my nephew and still is close to him. Let's jump to another part because all is going to go hand in hand, honey. My sister made a status on Facebook, something about how to potty train a kid, something like that. And her best friend, she had quite a few of them. Her best friends, they all got into like a goddamn Facebook finger war. They was on there saying some not so nice things about my sister. So my sister called me and told me about it. So I run over there to the Facebook. And I say what the fuck I got to say and I'm standing on my shit, honey. Geraldine tries to break my feelings, honey. She trying to get under my skin. So she decides to comment some shit like, oh, that's why you don't know who your baby daddy is. Honey, that's the oldest trick in the book. That shit ain't gonna work for me, honey. You gonna have to bring some large ammunition. She did bring, she, she, honey, she blew my damn radiator. I ain't finna lie to y'all. She sure in the fuck did, honey. I had steam coming out my ears, honey. I was, I was furiated. I was hot. She wrote on Facebook, the next time your nephew goes to court, I'm going to go and I'm going to testify and I'm going to tell the judge and the jury that you and your sister told me that he did it. Who said that? Cause I ain't say that. My sister ain't say that. Where you get that from, honey? Now you putting words in my mouth, honey. Uh-uh, don't play with me. I knew what time she had to go to work, when she was gonna leave to go to work, where she was gonna park at when she went to work, time she got off of work, how long it was gonna take her to get back to the house. I knew where she was gonna park at, honey. I knew who house she was gonna go to after that, honey. I knew everything. I knew the whole damn day. That's one thing. You ain't finna get on the Facebook and get to talking shit all snaky and shit, all flaky and shit, and then get mad at me when I bite your ass. And I'm coming with the poison and honey don't play with me i stole my mother's car yes i did and that probably wasn't the best thing to do but i needed some damn transportation okay judge your mama don't judge me so i stole my mom's car honey and i gone on over there to where i know she about to go to and i park off to the side honey she don't even know you know we was all in the car and i see it was me my sister one of my nephews my daughter she ain't even about four months yet honey and then it's my cousin. Now my cousin, she's supposed to be the cameraman. And my nephew, he was supposed to be the babysitter. Now I know y'all gonna say that ain't right parenting and I understand that. That's why I'm a changed woman now. But, you know, shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut, don't judge me. That's all I'm saying, don't judge me. We get there or whatever and my mama car, honey, her, 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 her door don't open from the inside. So you got to roll the window down and open it from the outside. And it wasn't electrical. You had to like really put the work in to get the damn window down. So I had did all that before she came, honey. And then I had opened the door and I cracked it. So I could just push it and herp and run the fuck out. You would never know. I watched her ride past the block, honey. I watched her ride past. I said, oh, she don't see me. Okay, that's good. So then she parks all the way in the back where I knew she was going to park at. Cause I got, I'm gonna wait. I'm about to let you park all the way back there. And I'm gonna let you walk your ass up by me. And then I'm gonna hop out on your ass. My sister wants to fight her, but my sister, she's feeling bad. Even though this girl said what she said, my sister is feeling bad because my sister is damn near six feet. And Geraldine is about four foot 11. And she's a little itty bitty thing. So my sister, she gets out the car and she confronts Geraldine. And she was like, hey, you know, da da da. But Geraldine is so scared, honey. She's shaking everything in her hand. She's shaking with the shit. And I had told my cousin, I said, I don't give a damn what she about to do. I know for a fact I'm about to whoop her ass because I don't play about my damn nephew. I see my sister not about to fight the girl. So I herp and hop out and she's walking and I'm walking towards her. Like where we was at. So it's, it, 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 it don't matter where we was at, but just know off to the side right here, it was a field, like a little corner field with some, with some grass and stuff like that there. So that was like a secluded place. So that's where I wanted to go to fight. It was just literally right there about five steps this way, honey, and you there. So I walked in front of her and I said, Geraldine, all that shit you was talking on Facebook, I want you to be my ass. So she was like, Anila, I don't even want to fight you. I don't even want to fight you. I said, well, I want to fight you. And I meant that shit. I really did. And she was like, but I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. 
So when I, I knew she was scared at this point because she wasn't expecting me to ambush her. So then she tries to walk. So I walk in front of her. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Oh, you ain't got all your friends with you. Now you ain't bad now, honey. Oh, bark no bite. Honey, what's going on? Um, I'm in front of her, still in front of her. I'm not letting her go because I want to fight. You rubbed me the wrong way, honey, and I want to put this rubbing on you. So at this point, I see she's trying to go. She keep telling me, and now I don't want to fight you. I'm not hearing that in my head. I'm going to fight. You better get your ass beat since you're the first person right here. I'm going to come for your friends in a minute. But you, my dear, you're the first in line to get this ass whooping. I get her in this corner. Now, across from this place, it was in a, you know, like Section 8. It was that stuff over there, and they had like a little security guard that was outside in this hut that looked like maybe my son built it when he was about three or something like that. It was all wore down, just tore down. And honey, it wasn't beautiful at all. And it's a man in there. He ain't doing his job, because see, he's he's doing his job by looking, but he ain't supposed to go on over there where we're fighting at, because that's not their premises. So I get the girl in the corner, honey. Like, it's, she's right here, I'm right here. At this point, there is no going back. The bitch has a wig on her head, and she keeps telling everybody that it's real hair. Honey, that shit ain't real. The girl go down like this and she trying to fight me like this or whatever fuck, whatever fuck these bitches be doing. I just so happen, yes I do got a doll. I just so happen to catch a hold of her hair. Now the shit is so goddamn nappy, it's like this honey. My hands is not, my, my hands ain't going nowhere. They stuck in this bitch head. I got the bitch like this, so I'm, what, what? So I'm hitting the girl and she just sitting there. Uh, 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 uh. So I got her head like this and I'm trying, I'm trying to get my hand, I'm trying to get my damn hand out the girl head. Her, her fucking hair is stuck in my fingers. And what happened was, I guess because it's cankle on or something like that, the plastic was ripping my fingers on the side. I had burns and like, I, it looked like paper cuts. But yeah, so I get to beating her up. Her hair is everywhere, honey. I'm blacking out. My hand is still attached to this girl hair because I can't take it out. No matter how hard I try, my hand is just stuck there in the damn raccoon's nest. It's just stuck there. It don't matter what to do, honey. It's not letting go. So her hair got me at this point. I'm trying to break free of the hair. At least her hair came to fucking fight. Her damn hair put up more of a fight than she did. It's raining bad, bad. I'm talking about it's raining so bad that when the rain hits your skin, honey, it hurt. It kind of like burned. I'm out there fighting in the rain. This little part that we was on with the grass, honey, the water done came through so much on it, it turned into a mud pit. I'm treating this girl like a damn pig on a hot day, honey. So I got the girl like this. Boop, 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 boop. That's how I got the girl. At this point, she can't do nothing because she muddy. She can't see. She need glass. She needs some damn glasses to be able to see, honey. I don't even know where the girl glasses went, honey. Her head look a fucking mess. Her face look a fucking mess. And at this point, I'm blacking out. I'm yanking the girl to get to the curb because I want to make her bite the curb and I want to kick the back of her head. That's what I want to do. And my sister, she knew that I was getting a little crazy. So my sister, she was like, Anila, 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 because they see me yanking this girl to the, and I'm talking about, I'm dragging her like she got concrete burns and everything, honey. I am dragging this girl. So I'm ready to risk it all at this point. And I'm glad that I didn't, honey, because ooh, I would have been in jail for a long time. I don't know how many times my sister had called my name, but eventually I woke up because I wasn't in my right state of mind after that. So I heard it and I stopped. And somehow my fingers got out the girl head, just like that. So I turn around and I walk away. I say, okay, cool. My nephew, he was like, watch your back, G. So I said, I wish a bitch would run up. I wish a bitch would grow some balls all of a sudden. Now she's picking up all her belongings off the floor, y'all. She picking them all up, <laughs> doing this shit with her hair. And she gone on over there to her friend house. Now I knew that I just opened the gates to hell, honey. We get in the car or whatever. I drive off. I go back to my mom house. Now my cousin, she stayed next door to us. She ain't, I ain't have to like drop her off nowhere far. So my mom, she had, she was dating this guy at the time and he had his truck parked in the in the in the thing well like when we had came back he wasn't there yet so when we came back i pulled the car all the way in and then he pulled in so he parked behind us now my mom knows nothing of what happened honey because she back there asleep and then my little brother he was up there watching my son so we go back into the house y'all we act like ain't shit happened but i already know deep down in my head i know they coming they coming they gathering up they posse they coming for little old me so I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So we get in the house. Before my cousin go home, she didn't even want to go home. She stayed over there by our house. And she was, 
I love you cousin, but you scary, honey. We sitting there and next thing you know, we hear a lot of shit outside. We hear a whole lot of shit. So we peeking out the windows and shit and we seeing all of these cars with like tents and stuff like that. And they parking in front of my mom's house, blocking her driveway, blocking my cousin's dad driveway, parking down the one way. I mean, they, we know that they here for us at this point. Nobody else knows, but we know that they here for us. All I know is I'm hearing car doors open and close and I'm hearing metal rank, like rattling together and shit. I'm like, damn, fuck they got. These bitches got, got out the car, popped the fucking trunk and got two boxes in they trunk, y'all. These bitches got two boxes in the trunk and they bringing out metal poles. They bringing out hammers. They got they got all type of shit in they trunk, honey. And I see a few girls out there with Vaseline, honey, and they smearing it all over their face, honey. I'm like, what the fuck they doing? They was like telling Nyla, come outside. My sister, she's looking out the door and they can see her. So my sister, she was like, she was just standing there. And then they was like, tell that bitch Nala come outside. So I was like, well, shit, let me go on outside then. What smoke you want, honey? Because I got the diesel. I got the purple haze. I got the OG Kush. I mean, what the, what, the, what, the, what the fuck you want? You want a Newport Cuban cigar? Like, what you want? What type of smoke you want? They like, come outside. So I'm trying to go outside. My sister, she 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 gets in front of me and she pushes me back. Um, I'm like, no, they calling me. Let me go out there. My sister was like, I'm going to go outside because I'd rather somebody hit me before they hit you. They not going to hit my sister, so I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go get the shit. So I'm like, no, bro, I'm going to go with you. So she was like, no, you stay here. So I'm like, well, what the fuck I do? She told me I got to stay in the house, and I got to stay in the house. I don't know what to do. But I wanted to go outside, but she told me no. So then my sister, she goes outside. My sister is standing in front of the van or whatever, and the girl who I beat up, her brother comes up there and he's walking up to my sister. He tells my sister, my, oh, y'all want to jump my sister. Jump? Who jumped? Who, who jumped who? Because last time I checked, I fought that girl head up one-on-one. -on -one. The girl was too scared to fight back. I was hitting that girl so fast that she really thought we jumped her. Swear to God, I did not jump you. I fought you head up. That was dead. And you was too scared to fight back. Her brother, he was like, well, tell that bitch to come outside. My sister was like, my sister not coming outside. It's me. So the dude gets mad and he's and he spits in my sister's face, kind of like a loogie. Y'all know what a loogie is. And then he 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 goes to hit her. She moves out the way and his fist goes through the back window to my mom's boyfriend's car. Ooh, why you do that? Now, that's a whole bunch of homeowners around here. So, people's coming outside and doing their job, you know, doing their due diligence as homeowners. And now, the police pulls up or whatever. So, everybody's getting back into their car. They leave and go home. Or they left and whenever, you know, wherever the hell they done went to. I would say about five or six months go past, honey. And I am dodging the fucking people that come to your house to serve you a restraining order. It got to the point where I started testing the damn rivers. So, when they would come up to... When they would come up to the door, they'd be like, hey, is the Nala Banks here? And I'd be like, no. And they'd be like, oh. And I'd be like, can I ask what's this for? Why y'all keep coming here looking for her? And they was like, oh, we trying to serve her a restraining order. The whole time they talking to me. Eventually I gave in. I said, fuck it. I can't run away from these problems. If I would have known what I know now, I could have. So I finally let them serve me. We get a fucking court date, honey. We go to the court date. She's trying to put a restraining order on not only me, but my sister because we jumped her. Y'all, this girl wrote up a whole fucking report. Remember that goddamn guy that I said, the security dude that's over there at the section eight? Honey, she got him to write a motherfucking testimony. Then what she do? She come with pictures and videos. What else she do? Y'all, why the fuck? Why the fuck the girl bring the discharge papers from Sinai Samaritan Hospital? She brings all this shit to the courtroom, honey. This is my first time going to court. He goes from my sister and he, right away, it was dismiss, dismiss. I'm dismissing it. It's not enough evidence for her, yada, yada, yada. He was like, you're free to go. You're dismissed. So she's like, okay, cool. So she's still sitting there. Now he getting on me and I'm thinking he finna tell me the same thing, honey. No, the fuck he did no, he did. He broke my heart. He broke my heart to pieces and he had me. I, I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't say nothing. I was speechless, y'all. I was sitting up there speechless. Anala Banks, yeah, this is enough evidence. Yada, 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 yada. I'm going to put 
the restraining order on you. Y'all, I was like, huh? He was like, yeah, I'm putting a restraining order on you. I said, what that mean? He said, you can't come within 300 feet of this lady. If you do, you will be going to jail. I said, wait a minute, what? And he said, just for that, I'm gonna put the max four years. I said, what? He said, I cannot come into contact with this lady at all. I cannot talk to her through Facebook, Instagram, no, no social media app. I cannot come physically within 300 feet of her. What, what type of bullshit is this? They was like, okay, now the sheriff back there, he's going to escort y'all out of the room. So they let the girl go first, honey. I want to run up on that bitch after this. I was, I was, they had that sheriff right there blocking the door. Honey, I swear to God, I, I'd seen myself take the fuck off and go beat her ass again because honey what the fuck you do this for and then the shit is on my record honey so yeah y'all that's the story time of how i fought my sister's ex-best friend and she took me to court and got i got the maximum restraint order put on me if you enjoyed today's story time make sure you get this video a big thumbs up make sure you share this video with your family and friends comment down below your thoughts on this story time here make sure you subscribe to the banks gang because i would love to have you here honey right here right next to me i would you deserve to be right here i just want to say until next time banks gang bye